Hi, this is Daniel Batten, treasurer of Northern New England Conference, and I want to share with you the latest update to the Joule software. Once you're in Joule, to get the new version, which is version 8.0, you simply click on Help, and then in the drop-down menu, you're going to click on Check for Updates. Once you have clicked on check for updates, it's going to ask you to allow Joule to install. And then you're going to click OK to continue. And first of all, we have to close Joule and then click OK. And then you're going to click install. And once it does that, it's finished, and now you have Joule version 8 on your computer. So you may be asking, what are some of the conveniences that have been added to Joule version 8? The new features in Joule version 8 include two major things. The first thing is that there is a new way that you can import the Amadis Giving Offering, which can make it a little bit easier and more simple for you as local church treasurer. The second thing is that you can enter checks and other entries dated in the following month, even though you haven't closed June and keep them dated there rather than being backdated to the last day of the previous month. And I will now show some illustrations of how this would work. So if I click on Start New Offering and and I go to Import Offering to do an Avendus Giving Offering, you'll recall that previously, you know, there were not these two options. One is Import from Avendus Giving, which is, this is new. You simply put your Avendus Giving email and Amnesty Giving Password that you have here, and then Jewel will automatically import the most recently posted offering that is on their website, and it will import that for you. Now, where could you run into a problem with this? Let's say right now, today's date is July 7, 2020. The most recent Amnesty Giving offering is the June 30 offering. However, what if the most recent offering that or the uh, we have not imported the June 15 offering yet? Well, in that case, we would not want to use this feature. We want to do it the way we have before where we have downloaded the offering file and then we would be clicking on import from file and then we would be finding that file here and then clicking open here. And then you'll notice I actually have done this step, so I'm not going to continue to import this report. We're gonna import the June 30 offering. So now I'm going to put my email address for Evans Giving in here. And then I'm going to put my now password. I put my password in, I click import from Avendus Giving, and it brings me to the file to do the, the mapping. And notice that it imported the June 30 offering without me having to go and download any file, it just did it. And so once everything is mapped, you click OK, and that June 30 offering is done. So we say, yes, this is the, the last offering. And then the other feature in Joule that is now available is it's July 7. And let's say I go to write checks and I have a July check that I want to post right now, even though I have not yet closed the month of June. And so I go ahead and put that 
in here. We're going to do a check to call them all for $15. And we'll call this this here. And then we click OK. And I get a warning. The date you entered 7 7 20 is in the next accounting period. Current period is June. Do you want to enter this for next month? So I can go ahead. If that was not my intent, I can say no, and then I can go back and edit the date to say 6.30 of 20, or I can go ahead and indeed enter it for the next month. So I'm gonna click yes here. So I just did that, and that check will show up as a July check now instead of as a June 30 check. And so that is a new feature that Jewel is giving you that option now. However, be careful with it because there may be things that you intend to be June 30 dates that end up in the month of June. So for example, remit to conference. I personally prefer to have my conference remittance check be in the month that it is for the period of. So this is my June 30 check. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the check, change the date to 6.30 of 20. Then I'm gonna click OK. It's gonna say yes, are you ready to send your remittance report? Because I'm paying by way of electronic payment to the conference. So now that's done. Now notice that also like the budget allocations here, it put a 7-7 date. I'm gonna change this to a 6.30 of 20 date. Then I'm going to click OK. And now it brings me to the bank reconciliation. There's really nothing changed with with the bank reconciliation or the rest of the month in closing features. In summary, this um, is the new features that are available in Jewel version 8. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me or email me. My email is dbatten at nnec.org. God bless you and have a good day.